Quero primeiro cumprimentar o primeiro-ministro Narendra Modi pela condução eficaz da presidência indiana do G20 e pelo excelente trabalho na preparação dessa cúpula e no carinho que foi dedicado a todos nós convidados nesse dia que nós passamos aqui. Agradeço os esforços da Índia em dar voz a temas de interesse dos países emergentes. Por isso, eu quero me solidarizar aqui com o nosso querido companheiro, representante da União. बड़ी खबर आपको बता रहे हैं भारत ने ब्राजील को जी ट्वेंटी की अध्यक्षता सौंपी है और भारत ने ब्राजील को सौंपी है जी ट्वेंटी की अध्यक्षता ये इस वक्त की बड़ी खबर बड़ी जानकारी तो भारत ने सौंपी है ब्राजील को जी ट्वेंटी की अध्यक्षता और ये इस वक्त की बड़ी खबर आपको बता रहे हैं नोसो कंजूंता os equívocos estruturais do neoliberalismo. A arquitetura financeira global mudou pouco e as bases de uma nova governança econômica não foram lançadas. Novas urgências surgiram. Os desafios se acumularam e se agravaram. The economic governance have not been laid. New emergencies emerged. Challenges have accumulated and worsened. We are living in a world where wealth is more concentrated, in which millions of human beings still go hungry, where sustainable development is always threatened, where, in which governance institutions still reflect the reality of the middle of the last century. We will only be able to face all these problems if we address the issue of inequality, inequality of income, access to health care, education, food, gender and race, and also of representation is, in, is at the origin of all these anomalies. If we want to make a difference, we have to place reducing inequalities at the core of the international agenda. Therefore, the Brazilian presidents of the G20 has three priorities. The first one is social inclusion and fight against hunger, energy transition, and sustainable development in its three aspects, the vector social, the economic, and environmental vector. And thirdly, the reform of global governance institutions. All these priorities are part of the Brazilian presidency motto, which says, building a fair world and a sustainable planet. Two task forces will be created, the Global Alliance Against Hunger and Poverty and the Global Mobilization Against Climate Change. We knew we need to redouble our efforts to achieve the goal of ending world hunger by 2030. Otherwise, we will be facing the biggest multilateral failure in recent years. Acting to fight climate change requires political will and determination from the rulers, as well as resources and technology transfer. We want greater participation of the emerging countries in the decision-making process of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. The unbearable foreign debt of the poorest countries needs to be addressed. The WTO must be revitalized and its dispute settlement system must start working again. To regain, to regain its political strength, the UN Security Council needs to count on the presence of new developing countries among its permanent and non-permanent members. The international community looks at us with hope because we bring together economies from emerging countries and developing 
and developed countries in the G20. We represent 80% of the global GDP, 75% of uh, uh, exports, and around 60% of the world's population. तो जी ट्वेंटी समिट का आखिरी दिन है और ब्राजील के पीएम ने कहा कि देशों के हित ही नहीं हृदय से भी जुड़े हुए हैं और मानव हित में भारत सबसे पहले सोचता है मानव हित में ही चंद्रयान का डेटा शेयर किया गया तो जी ट्वेंटी आशावादी प्रयासों का प्लेटफॉर्म बना है और भारत ने ब्राजील को जी ट्वेंटी की अध्यक्षता अध्यक्षता सौंपी और ब्राजील के पीएम ने कहा कि हम ग्लोबल फैमिली को हकीकत के तौर पर देखते हैं जीडीपी नहीं मानव केंद्रीय विजन पर जोर दिया जा रहा है जी ट्वेंटी में देशों के हित ही नहीं हृदय भी जुड़े हुए हैं और मानव हित में भारत सबसे पहले सोचता है तो मानव हित में ही चंद्रयान का डेटा भी शेयर किया गया है और जी ट्वेंटी आशावादी प्रयासों का प्लेटफॉर्म बना